Hello guys, long time. Uh, I just came for my holidays and back to the beauty. Today we are dealing with LX570. Uh, the subject that we are working on is the suspension system of the lecture. We know that LX uh, 470, LX570, they are using hydraulic system, so it's changing the height of the vehicle. And the complaints that we receive from the owner of the car, it was the abnormal uh, absorbing of the vehicle. Yes, his uh, comment, it was uh, correct. We drive the car and we feel it also. Anyway, the feeling is, uh, the vehicle is jumping actually. If you are sitting especially at the back, you are feeling as if you are uh, like a basketball. How to put it? By the way, you don't even uh, need to go with high speed or etc. With one ramp, if you pass this ramp that you have on the entrance, smoothly, you will feel that the bowsing is abnormal. By the way, uh, the major issue in our own case it, uh, it actually is the more is, is the common problem of these systems is the accumulators of each side like we say we remove it already here now what I want to say uh, of course we did inspection about leakages and etc of course uh, we check the shocks and the lines if we have something, the level of the fluid, because here, let me give you some explanations. Few, because the system is complicated, and we can talk hours about it. Here we have, this is the right rear side, is the pump with the reservoir. Okay, here there are the accumulators that install. Uh, is uh, each side you have one so you can see we are on the back this is the right uh, rear side this is the front and the opposite we have exactly the same uh, we have here the level the level sensors each side there are different components <coughs> and the system actually is very uh, complicated and because it's hydraulic and because it's controlled automatically and because it have a lot of electronic uh, components so but in this case when you feel this kind of thing that the absorbing is abnormal uh, in most of the cases if you don't have a leakage or bad uh, shock we are here the accumulators now what I want to show you. From four pieces, I, I put exactly on my bench the emulators exactly from each side that I remove them. So now, this is for instance, not for instance, is the rear right side, front right side, rear left, front left. We'll do one visual inspection first of all. Let's see here how they look like inside. I want to clarify that we are empty. As you can see, you, you don't see anything on these three that they are bad. This one is showing a little bit, but and this one, if I bend it, maybe it's totally bad, but it's showing. In, in, in <coughs> In, in case, not in case, when it's correct, it's good, it's showing like that. Let's call this thing a valve. You will see that it's on the top. A second test that you can run, obviously, is the, with the, you have to put oil inside. Simon, it's enough, we don't need to feel it. 
you see how much oil you pick this one that is bad and let me take the front right immediately overflow is because it's not allowed in because it's on the high side to by the way <coughs> This side is controlling the low pressure of the system and uh, another uh, sign is when we, we remove each one and you will turn it upside down, it start dropping coil. This one for instance, let's say we untied it, we remove it and it start bringing a bring quantity of the oil means it's already gone. Uh, also, you can identify it when the vehicle is on four post lift and you have to remove this thing, you need to open the bleeders to release the pressure. Uh, you will see that the pressure is coming, is coming with pressure from the bleeder. Actually, you will see that it's created even form inside with the can that we are using. You will join the hose, it's like the brake. Uh, the bleeder, like on the brake caliper, the same way. And uh, with this way, actually, you are doing visual inspection because it's good to, to, to change, but you have also, this is my own personal opinion, that it's good to rectify also the problem. So, in my own case, I know that three pieces they are bad, one is, is good. Not that I will order three pieces, we will change four of them. And generally, when you have to do with the changing, the best, advi the best advice, professional advice, is to change four of them, direct. Secondly, we need a Toyota oil. We don't want to use aftermarket. And... Uh, also, uh, maximum 90,000 kilometers, 90,000 kilometers, not miles. We have to flush and refresh our system when it's healthy with a new fluid. Now, in my own case now, the total system is taking 4.5 liters. The most of the quantity is going to the shop. Uh, we will try to flush. I remove, I will remove some extra components just to drop the oil out. And uh, you will install it, of course to install it and bleed the system and etc. is another, uh, another story, How to, it's not that you put, you fix and everything, you have to install, you have to know how to bleed. The system will give you some errors, but already they have, I think, uh, information online. And I don't want to enter this process and show how the bleeding is supposed to be. The only thing that I would say that the bleeding, because you are doing it on the ground or on the four-post lift, when it's on the ground, it's dangerous because you have to have the load totally the vehicle. You can't put jack or anything. On the four post list it's more safe because you can lift it to your shoulder, let's say, and you can control in case when the, you are opening the bleeder, the side is dropping. So it's easiest to avoid any incident. But uh, when you are working on the ground and you, you want to lie down and monitor, there is danger. You have to be careful. So that, the major, <coughs> Subject it was how you can identify a bad accumulator on LX 470 or 570. They are working almost the same, and uh, we show you how we used to do it. So thank you very much. One more time for your support. Please don't forget to leave a comment, to press the like button, and uh, of course. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. One more mission complete.